This is where it all started in Archibald, the quest for coal. This is where White Oak Creek empties into the Lackawanna River. And back into the 1840s, James Archibald and Mr. Clarkson came walking down from Carbondale to follow these creeks up into the mountains to see if they cut through any pats of coal, any seams of coal, and they did. The number one mine is about a quarter mile east of this on this stream. This is that same creek as it parallels Salem Road down near uh, the bottom by the tracks. On my way up alongside White Oak Creek to the very first mine opening in Archibald around 1845-46. These waters come out of White Oak Dam and from the 40-foot falls and originated right up top what they used to call Big Springs up near the old Hackley Farm on top of Archibald Mountain. Grown in quite a bit, but the mine, original mine opening was up inside that embankment. water drained out into this creek and into the Lackawanna River which helped pollute the river along with all the mines. Then down the embankment on the White Oak Creek to where the first mine was opened in Archibald. steep cliffs back here. And this is where the uh, water cut through the coal seam and James Archibald and Mr. Clarkson found it around 1845-46. Right in this area was where that first mine opening was and it ran up southeast, up under Salem Road, and under the homes up there. And it had a natural drainage. The water flowed right back into the creek, which went back into the river. It's all collapsed now, all caved in. But it was the first mine opening in Archibald. Here's a tunnel where the White Oak Creek goes underneath the railroad beds. There was four or five sets of railroad beds at one time, so they had to build this to route the creek underneath them. Some old railroad ties here, probably from that original mine, the number one mine. creek dug into the walls here, pretty steep, and that's how James Archibald and Mr. Clarkson found the coal. The water had cut through the coal seam. There's part of the original coal seam. You can still see some of the coal left there. Very steep embankment here. I'm on the north side of the creek right now.
everything is all collapsed from that long ago. And there's still a mixture of uh, slate and coal in that seam. Looking back towards the west, towards the town, the direction they would have pulled the coal out of. Back in those days, they did not have breakers, so it was shipped to market the same way it came out of the mine. Here's part of the old rails that they used to uh, take the coal out of the mine. That's the only piece I found so far. There may be more buried up here. Here's the top of a railroad spike. Still sticking out at the top of a railroad tie. Very old. This road here is where the railroad came out of that first mine. Now there's another road here to the left, but this may be from later strippings or maybe another mine up on top of the hill here somewhere. White Oak Creek, right underneath the old railroad beds here, where there's now one set of tracks, there used to be four or five. White Oak Creek on its way down to the river. The number two mine was across that creek from uh, the number one, right across from the number one, and the opening was later covered up by the column from the White Oak Breaker. Going up number five hill now, we're gonna look for the number three, three and a half, four, and five mine openings. They were all on the right-hand side of the road here. It's heavily grown in now. We'll get a better view from uh, the top looking down, but it was up in here. A lot of accidents up in the mines too, a lot of cave-ins that are very dangerous. Those openings were up in these cliffs. It's heavily grown in. But they're all collapsed now. Must have been a big vein of coal up there. A lot of foundation remains up here on the right-hand side. There's a lot of homes here, miners' homes, for the mines that were up here on Number 5 Hill. Number 5 Hill School stood in that spot where this house is now. There are the column banks from the oldest mine in town, that number one mine along the White Oak Creek. These column banks date from the 1840s. This is a cave-in over here by the AC field. Deep, as you said. The largest sinkhole over here, the large home in the back there, was where the mine interest was. This is where the Northwest Breaker stood until it was torn down in 1975, and it burned as they were tearing it down. Down this area where it's all developed now was the area where the Japan mine was located. That that's all filled in a long time ago. All this area was all undermined. They went in through that Japan mine opening. It's all developed now and there's even a golf course up here. Column pile coal that went through the Northwest Breaker. More column from that same breaker. There's another breaker back here and some mine workings too. They were really uh, all over the town. There was quite a few of them. 
but we did find some of the ruins from this breaker too. Okay, some kind of foundations here back in Riverside. We don't really know what they are. Part of some kind of mining operation apparently. Riverside breaker, I guess. Probably the Riverside breaker. All concrete, old concrete. Okay, another foundation here. Back in the same area, unknown. Probably part of a breaker works or something. A lot of heavy bolts, like it was holding down a lot of building up above. Okay, another part of this foundation. It looks like gravity T-rails embedded in the concrete uh, for a later breaker. Yeah, they're definitely uh, smaller T-rails than you'd normally find, and I think they were the size that were used on the gravity railroad, and it looks like they used them to embed in the concrete to strengthen it. A mine opened in the basement of this house in the mid-60s, about 12 feet across and 60 feet deep. They said the furnace was hanging from the pipes. I'm traveling along Spruce Street right now, there was quite a few mine caves on this street. It was heavily undermined from several uh, different openings. This is the corner where it caved in, probably in the 50s, and a lot of boxes went down in the mines. And a big hole there right in the street and the corner of the cemetery.